Bob Bauer, Mesquite. I'd like to uh, begin. Uh, I uh, I am certainly for a BMX track for the kid. My wife and I raised two sons, so uh, we certainly <coughs> understand the importance of things for kids to do. Uh, get get them out of the house, get get them exercise, and uh, get out from under mom and dad's feet. I would like to uh, commend Ethan Richards for uh, bringing this forward. I think it's uh, I, I I commend the uh, young man. I. I am for this uh, for, a, for a track for the kids, but not the location. My my concern is uh, being in a residential, but my primary concern is the safety for the kids. Uh, Haven Lane uh, is posted at 30 miles an hour. That doesn't happen. The, the speed limit, uh, the speed that is travel on Haven, I would estimate 40 to 50 miles an hour is probably pretty much the average. Uh, then we have Riverside. Kids are going to be excited to get to the park. They're going to be with their buddies. They're going to be on their bicycles. I'm really concerned about a, uh, an accident happening on, on Riverside or Haven. So hopefully uh, council will consider uh, a, re a relocation uh, of, this, of, this, uh, of this track. Thank you. being in this room with all these adults, he's a little intimidated, so I'm reading this for him. Um, first, he would like to say thank you to Mayor Bear for making the letter, for making your letter from me. What is your name? My name is <laughs> Becky Richards. Thank you. For making the letter from me important, I was really excited when I received the response that you wanted to meet with me. I want to thank City Council for considering the BMX track. I love to ride my bike and know that other kids do also, and this will make it even more fun. If you decide to allow us to have the BMX track, I will do everything I can to make sure other kids take care of it so that we do not get it taken away. Thank you, Ethan Richards. And I want to thank you guys for your time as well. Hi, I'm Laurie Hayden. Um, I can echo everybody's sentiment that's been up here. I had I got really sick, I got diagnosed with valley fever, which is something that lives in the soil in our valley floor. I have been through quite a bit. I have things growing on my lungs that won't go away. I also have a daughter who has borderline asthma, so when her allergies kick up from the dirt blowing, and the dirt blows horrible in that neighborhood, it comes from that desert right there. It blows right into our front yard, it blows into our backyard, she can't go out. She probably misses 20 days of school a year because of her um, allergies and asthma. I think putting that bike track there, you know, not there, anywhere else, not in a residential area where they can kick up more dirt because I've already been through a whole lot of issues with the dirt um, and the dumping over there. But um, as I said before, I can echo everybody's opinion about what has happened across the street but there are a lot of health issues I would really hope you consider first before you put something like that in a residential neighborhood. Thank you. Okay, seeing no further public comment, we'll close the public hearing. Councilman, we can, we can do this a number of different ways. Uh, I know that um, we can make some comments on this particular item. Um, we can let it die for lack of motion. We can do a bunch of different things at this point. And certainly, if you want to ask questions, we, we certainly can do that now at this point. I've asked the questions that I had, which was whether or not the zoning would permit it to, uh, at the other location. I think, um, we, oh, before I even get started there, thank you very much for coming forward with your opinions. We appreciate you coming forward. We appreciate all you do for our city, and your comments help us be better at what we do. Um, that being said, uh, Council, do we have any further questions or comments for Mr. Seacrest or anything at this point? I'm, uh, there's a Christmas tree here, so I'll, I'll just go with Councilman Rapson first. Uh, quick question. Is that parcel that